panpsychism, the notion that everything is alive or imbued with some sort of sentience. What we call consciousness is just a highly specified and complex form of a subjectivity or a feeling that exists in all of matter. Therefore, the universe is a living organism. It's one living thing. And this is actually reflected in the word ecology in a sense. Ecos means house. Like it's one living house. It's one throbbing thing. And I was getting really interested for that reason in the the effect that how we conceptualize uh things like environmentalism, matter itself, physics, the effect that that has on our ability to participate in being an activist about it or being a polluter or whatever. Because the word, for instance, the word environment, I think, is not my favorite word. I don't like to say I'm an environmentalist or even say the word environment, you know, too casually because it the, the vibe it gives is the environment is something that surrounds you. It's something that's, you're, you're walking through it and it's separate from you. Similarly, the way we typically use nature, I think, is very flawed. Not that the word nature itself is bad, but it's flawed if we forget Get that we are nature. We we are part of it. So it's it's a system of relations. This table, this microphone, the, all the buildings in New York City are just. There is no such thing as the artificial. There's the human made. That's a very specific, coherent, oh, categorical it. concept. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But natural artificial is not an actual, not a coherent binary. And when we slip into that binary, it makes it very hard to take care of things. Uh -huh.